Now, last minute surge in ticket sales is expected ahead of tonight's record lotto draw, with the predicted jackpot being the biggest this country has ever seen. There you go, 50.4 million pounds. So, what are your chances of winning the big prize? Experts say the odds of matching all six balls in any given draw. One in 45 million. And if it reaches the predicted 50 million pound cap tonight, but there's no winner, the jackpot rolls over to Saturday's draw. And if there's still no winner on Saturday, it has to be shared out by those with the closest numbers. Joined by Neil Stewart, Professor of Psychology at the University of Warwick. People are going like crazy to buy these tickets and they've got about as much chance, we used to say, as being hit by an asteroid. Now it's apparently you've got more chance of being a Hollywood movie star. Uh, when people buy lottery tickets, I think they are buying into uh, that sort of, you know, what could I do with £50 million? I could have my private jet or I could have my yacht and so on. There's a lovely experiment done uh, in psychology where you offer people the chance to play a lottery just to win £20. And if I say that you've not got much chance of winning, you won't give me very much money to play. And if I say there's a really big chance of winning, you'll give me quite a lot of money to play. But if I swap the £20 prize for the chance to kiss your favourite movie star, what you find is that people pay the same amount, no matter whether there's a really small chance of winning or a really big chance of winning. The emotional content of the prize pushes out all thoughts of the probability of winning from people's minds. But when you hear um, people who have won the lottery, then subsequently in years uh, past, in, in years to come rather, they say, oh, you know, I was happier beforehand, uh, etc., etc. That doesn't put us off trying to win, though, does it? I don't think so. And I think buying the ticket, for example, if I'm trying to get myself uh, my private jet or my, you know, dream holiday, I simply can't afford that. But buying the ticket opens it up as a possibility. And now, if it's a possibility, I can give myself time to think about it and enjoy it. So it's almost like buying the lottery ticket gives you the chance to dream about these things. And if you don't buy the ticket, it doesn't make any sense to dream about it. So People what, what... are really sensitive to the difference between something never happening and something that just might happen. So what are we aspiring towards then? Are we aspiring towards paying off the mortgage and looking after family members paying off their mortgages as well, perhaps? Or are we aspiring towards that Learjet? Uh, I think for a subset of people, um, certainly if people worry about money and if, if you have financial problems, they can take up a really large part of your sort of everyday thinking. You tend to dwell upon them and think about them quite heavily to, to, to the detriment of your mental health. So it would be lovely if we never had to worry about money again. I think people erroneously think if they had a lot of money, they'd never have to worry about money again. And I think that's possibly not true. It turns out that money does buy you happiness, but uh, not very much extra happiness, if any at all. I think that's somebody ringing, Neil, to make sure that you've bought your lottery ticket for tonight. Um, what about when we don't win? How <laughs> do we deal with those emotions? Uh, I think for... Ah, this, this is really interesting. I think for, it depends on how likely the event is to happen and on uh, whether the event's a good thing or a bad thing. So winning the lottery would be good, but you could also imagine low probability events that might be bad news. Um, I think for something that people are roughly not expecting to happen, it, uh, you know, they're kind of psychologically prepared for that, for the status quo. But if something that's really good, that you think is really likely to happen, doesn't happen, you will feel incredibly disappointed. I think that's just human nature. Yeah. Have you bought a ticket? Do you know I've never bought a lottery ticket, I oh. don't think. I was thinking about this on the way over to the studio. OK. Why? I guess, well, so I guess I'm a scientist and on average, if you play the lottery, you'll, you'll lose money. I mean, that's how the lottery works. It collects money from a lot of people and hands back some of it to a smaller set of people. Um, also, I think I'm just the kind of person that doesn't gamble. And a good chunk of people in our studies, when you ask them about, you know, well, would you gamble if the prize was this? And you make the prize a bit bigger. And they just say, no, I don't gamble. I don't want to gamble. But it's not necessarily irrational to gamble. So if I need a million pounds to do something, or I really, really want the jet, if I don't buy the lottery ticket, I'm never going to get the jet. Um, so there's a sense in which, although on average you'll lose money, 
if you really need to have a, you know, a luxury jet. And the only way you can get it is to buy a lottery ticket. It's quite sensible to buy a lottery ticket. And who doesn't really, really need a luxury jet? Let's be honest. Um, I've certainly bought a lottery ticket. If I win £50 million, pounds, I'm going to let <laughs> you have a million pounds. What do you think about that? Uh, that would be very, very kind of you. Fantastic. And actually, Does that increase my chances being, of winning, Being nice to other people is... Uh, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> you were going to say being nice to other people, sorry, what? I could say being nice to other people is a really good way to make yourself happier. Um, and pausing to stop and be grateful for the things that are going well in your life also is a good way to make you, to increase your l level of well-being. Probably uh, doing those things would help more than playing the lottery if you're trying to just make your life better. OK, well, keep your fingers crossed for me winning tonight, then. And don't forget, I've said it on national Good television. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. 130 million people around the world <laughs> heard me say you can have a million quid if I win 50 million. We'll chat tomorrow. For now, thanks very much indeed for joining us here on Sky News this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.